I asked 20 doctors to tell me what they would do for work if they weren't a doctor. I'll go first. Obviously, detective. Right now, instead of solving crimes, I'm solving complex medical cases. I'm no Dr. House, but I may be a Sherlock Holmes in my past life. How's it going? I'm Dr. Alok Patel. I'm a pediatric hospitalist, so if a child is hospitalized, count on me to coordinate care. I like action, mystery, suspense, believing that my work is making a difference, put that together. I think I'd be working with the FBI or the CIA, maybe forensic science, global anti-terrorism, missing and endangered children. I'm not really sure, but in general, fighting crime. Hi, I'm Dr. Siobhan Deshauer, also known as Violin MD. I'm an internal medicine and rheumatology specialist. In medicine, I really love digging into mystery cases and looking at problems from different angles. So if I wasn't a doctor or a violinist, then I'd probably be an investigative journalist. What are you looking for a raise? Get out. What's up everyone? My name is Jake Goodman and I'm a psychiatry resident doctor in my third year of residency training. Fun fact, I actually graduated from the College of Agriculture and Environmental Sciences at the University of Georgia, which means that I took classes in botany, horticulture, herbs, and medicinal plants. And I'm a huge plant dad. This is one of my favorite plants right now. Her name is Ava. I found her as an avocado seed in a trash can and grew her into this beautiful plant right here. One man's trash is another man's avocado seed that they turn into a friend. So if I wasn't a doctor, I'd probably be a botanist. Feed me see more. My name is Alok Kanoja, but the internet knows me as Dr. K. I'm a psychiatrist, which means that I'm a medical doctor that focuses on the mind. If I wasn't a medical doctor, chances are I would have become a monk. And that's actually what I ended up doing for a long time. I spent seven years studying to become a monk and then decided to go to medical school. I was fascinated with the mind to begin with. And I think that the Eastern monks like yogis and Buddhist monks have a really, really interesting perspective on the mind, which medical science could learn a lot from. My name is Dr. Anthony Yoon and I'm a board certified plastic surgeon. So if I weren't a doctor, I would be an unemployed rock star. Back when I was younger and going through my residency training, I was in a band and we kind of toured local we played a lot of gigs and we made a little bit of money. But the problem is, is that we were really not that good. I was a three chord warrior and we pretty much maxed out what we could do in this field of rock and roll. You'd probably see me performing at the bar at the Holiday Inn Express outside the Boise airport. Loosey goosey baby. Lucy Goosey. Hello, my name is Ed Hope. I'm a doctor working in the emergency department over in the UK. If I wasn't a doctor, I would want to be a musician. I actually paid a lot of my way through medical school by busking at the weekends. And on the surface, you might think the two are pretty different, but they're not a million miles away. You have to study the theory. There's a big practical element involved. And ultimately, you can have a huge positive impact on people's lives. Flying heavy in the sky. Woo! Hi, my name is Dr. Winters, AKA The Bentist Online, and I'm an orthodontist. Dentistry and orthodontics has a lot of art related things. In fact, dentistry is a lot like being a sculptor, painter, artist. It's an art project. Okay, I like it, Picasso. That being said, as much as I love art, I would probably rather use these hands to play video games, actually. I've played video games my entire life, and if I could, I'd probably be a professional video game player or streamer. So yeah. I'm a gamer. I'm Dr. Dana Brems, and I'm a podiatrist, which is a foot and ankle specialist and surgeon. When I was a kid, I always wanted to be an artist because I love putting things together and being creative. We don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. If I wasn't a doctor, I've always thought I'd probably be a chef because I like eating food, I like traveling, so maybe a food critic maybe. But if I was a chef, I can see lots of parallels between surgery and cooking. I mean, for starters, you need to know the recipe, the steps of the operation. You can't burn your meat. You need to please people and you can't pick things up after they've been dropped on the floor. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Idiot sandwich what? An idiot sandwich, Chef Ramsey. What up, my name is Dr. John Patton, Doc JP3, and I'm a board certified anesthesiologist and a regional anesthesia and acute pain medicine specialist. A lot of people don't know this about me, but I love to cook. I think it's the alpha personality inside me that makes me believe I could be a Michelin chef. Where's the lamb sauce? I just love the experience and the artistic nature, and to be able to take people on a culinary journey every single night would be a lot of fun. Where's the lamb That's sauce? Lamb. Anesthesiologist by day, chef by night. Doc JP3, Chef de Cuisine. Love it. I'm 
Dr. Danielle Jones. Some of you may know me as MDJ and I am an OBGYN. That means I take care of anything having to do with periods, pregnancy, and the female reproductive tract. Honestly, I am so glad I get to do this job because I love being an obstetrician and gynecologist, but if I wasn't, I think I could see myself as a politician or maybe a public health professional. Maybe in another life, even a professional skier would have been fun. I should be president or something. Hi, I'm Dr. Benjamin Schmidt, also known as Doc Schmidt, and I'm a GI doctor, which means that I specialize in gastroenterology. Now, I'm not sure if this is even an entire job by itself, but if I wasn't a doctor, I would love to edit movie trailers. I love the idea of trying to synthesize down a whole movie into a couple of minutes and finding cool new songs to get people excited about the movie. Plus, you get to see most of the footage from movies way in advance, so that'd be pretty cool too. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian boxer Walkler, and I'm an eye surgeon, AKA ophthalmologist. If I wasn't a doctor, I'd probably be a film director because I loved making movies when I was in high school and college. As a matter of fact, I made a feature length Batman movie, an hour long one that we screened on campus at UCLA. And yes, I was running around in tights. My name is Ricky Brown and I am a board certified plastic surgeon in Scottsdale, Arizona. What would I be if I wasn't a plastic surgeon? I think I'd be a voice actor. I'd probably crush that. Hi, I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon. And a urologist is essentially a surgical and medical doctor of the genital urinary tract. If I wasn't a medical doctor, I'd probably be the CEO of a company. My superpower is being organized. It's what helps me take care of patients and do everything else I do. And so if I wasn't a medical doctor, I'd probably be organizing a whole bunch of people in a company somewhere. My name is Dr. Sanjay Janeja. I'm a hematologist and medical oncologist, basically specializing in blood disorders as well as cancers and how to treat them. If I wasn't a doctor, I'd be a teacher. And it's not just because doctor stands for teacher in Latin, but I really enjoy being able to make sense of something or or make someone appreciate how something works it'd probably be physics or chemistry say my name hi my name is dr antonio webb i'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here in san antonio texas i would probably do something in real estate i have a passion for real estate and buying uh, residential properties and hopefully commercial properties in the future buying a property and renting it out or rehabbing it and uh, reselling it and if i wasn't a spine surgeon i would be a real estate investor you know, I'm not only a doctor, but also a professional boxer and Air Force pilot. Click here to see me fly an F-16 with the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds. And as always, stay happy and healthy.